guys so in this video i'm going to talk about uh, how you can make a quiz bot uh, with the task bot builder and it's just a simple uh, set of questions with multiple choice uh, options and uh, one of them one of the choices will be the correct answer and the user has to go through all the questions and the, at the end of the conversation the bot will tell the user how much they scored so like you know if it asks three questions it will tell the user if it scored all the correct answer or uh, two of them are correct so this is very simple flow that you can see in front of uh, that all i've already made so earlier i decided to make the whole bot from scratch but it took a lot of time uh, so what i decided it is to use start with this template which is very just a simple set of questions that you must that you can already check um, uh, it's very easy to make right away uh, i'll only going to talk about how you can do the scoring part of the quiz and how it, how can you, how can you do the calculation and show the final score to the user so let's just start out so this is just first to gambit um, this is just a small movie trivia quiz uh, on the movie matrix uh, so in the first one it just tells the user you know what it's all about it's important to tell the user right away in the very first gambit that the what the purpose of the bot is all about uh, so after that there are three questions there's a trivia question with multiple options one of them is the correct answer um, similarly like there are these three questions are there and at the end of the conversation it tells the the score of the, the final thing so what you want to do is to do the scoring of the in the quiz uh, what you want to do is you want to attach a number uh, with each of the options so that you can then use that number later on to do the calculation so in this case we just want to do the you no know, this is a simple calculation of addition this is scoring so what you want to do is you want to attach a zero number with all the wrong answer and a plus one with the correct answer so so that at the end of the conversation we can just add all the numbers and if the if it the answer is wrong you just add zero if it answer is correct it adds up the in the score so for that what we are going to use is a feature called option val so when you go through a button uh, if you click on the plus option you will see this option a label kind of icon which says option val if you click on it it opens up a input field and what it does is you can then associate you can write anything here you can uh, you can put a number you can put a, a text you can put a string anything and it will associate this value with this particular option so Uh, so that you no know, you can then use it later on for any other purpose so for us we are just going to use it for you know uh, for scoring so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a zero for all the wrong answer and a one for the correct answer for the correct answer so so here here is the so this one is the correct answer for this question uh, which character was previous incarnation of the one in the movie the correct answer is the merovingian and this is the this is going to be added on later on in the scoring calculation uh, uh scoring uh, the calculation of the final score so these are the these are the numbers associated so how you do, how do you actually reference to that so you know already that to reference to any user response you use this it is ursp dot gambit name so gambit name is q1 here so this will give you the Let's say the user has selected the key maker. This this will give you give you the key maker text as option. But if you want to get the value of the corresponding value of this option that the user has selected, you just change U R X P to U V A L. So this will give you zero or one depending on which of the four options you have selected. So if the user selected Marvinchin, this will result into one. Otherwise, it's just zero. So so what we are going to do? We are going to like. It refers to the variable. Uh, refer to these uh, final values through this thing. So you can just take this, move it here, save it. Similarly, we are going to add zero all the wrong answer and one to the correct answer. So you got the idea about now. Uh, how can how can you like? You can also put uh, a negative scoring if you want for the wrong answer, or you can put uh, like one to the 
multiple options multiple options are correct right so in this case this is the correct answer i'll just put one here so now we have the the basically score for individual responses stored uh, we need to do calculation uh, for that we are going to add another gambit here which is going to do the api calculation so for how the way we are going to do the calculation is by using an api called matches api so just search for you know math js api it will give you the first result as this and if you look into the, the actual documentation of it it's just a very simple api uh, you just pass in the expression that you want to calculate and it results in the uh, the final final result of the final calculation of it so let's just call it score calculation set the api we don't need any messages so remove that save it so in this uh, we are going to use the post call because you know it has a lot more options although we are not going to use this uh, any options any much options you know in this particular example but uh, uh, with this uh, post option you can do a lot many things so right you can see uh, you can set variables and then you can use that variable in, the, in another expression and all so you can do multiple stage calculation with this kind of api uh, so in our case it's just an addition of three numbers we don't need multiple expressions so we don't need to send it a list of strings just as just a common it's a normal string itself so we're going to use this api endpoint and this is a post method remember so here we are going to set post set the api endpoint here now we need to make a expression which is just a, so let's just try it out let's just uh, so you can see this is a data format is a json data format so we are going to select data body here select raw and select json which is a normal this is the default values we are going to use the same format that the api explained which is expr which is a string and colon the expression that you want to calculate so for example if you want to see just to test it out how uh, this works we're going to do this so it gave me the result it's 12 plus 4 plus 9 which is 21 so you can see the result is here uh, now in order to reference to this variable you know how you can use this the way to refer to this variable is p which is the api which is the data scope for api responses p dot the name of the gambit which is this this result into the this will give me the whole result the whole uh, the api response and we want this particular value so just do this dot result this will give me the actual value the actual the final calculation of this so we just copy that remove this and save it And we just I already said it beforehand, but you can you can show it here right away. P dot calculation dot results. You can bold it also. And this this just ends the conversation. You can also do you no know, I mean you can refer to this variable any other way. You can just show it, you can do further calculation later on. But you know, in this case, this is the simple uh, display of the score. Just connect these two. <coughs> now we only need to do is need to replace these values with uval dot q1 q2 and q3 so there's the same value was like 0 1 or 0 1 value basically so these will give me the response for these three so you just note that you no know, uh, just make sure that these uh, this expression is uh, proper otherwise if the json format is json format and if it raises some issue you know, in the syntax, the API response uh, will not go through. So just make sure this double code is used. You are using the double code in expr. Use the call colon, and again double code in this expression. No any other comma, nothing. And these are the cases. So just make sure that this format is correct. Just save it. Deploy. Test it out. Let's go. We'll give the first one the correct answer. 
let's just give a wrong answer to second one and third one let's see so i got the score of 2 so this was the correct answer this was 0 this is 1 so 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 1 uh, is 2 so this is how you do the calculation uh, you can as you can see in the this api you can do multiple stage calculation you can do a lot more complex calculation you can do it uh, do for discount calculation coupon discounts you can do a lot of things uh, this is very really interesting and very uh, simple to use api um, so this basically results into the bot let me know what you think